In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed 16th Sunday in ordinary time, beloved in Christ. I am Father Pax Finbar J. Shawan, coming through to you from Assumption Parish in South Oropush. Today on the 16th Sunday, I want us to consider we the harvest and the Lord of the harvest. Who God is and how we ought to respond to him in the light of this gospel from Matthew today. The human mimic for the qualities of God is what we call virtues. In practicing virtues, we imitate God in our souls within which we resemble God as beings made in his image and likeness. St. Padre Pio said, as gifts increase in you, let your humility grow, for you must consider that everything is given to you on loan. So all our gifts are held by the virtues that we practice. So consider what we have from the first reading from the book of wisdom, which speaks of the sovereignty of God. Identifying that without a doubt, God can act whenever he chooses. After all, he is God, not of some, but all creation. And those who trust in his word and obey it know that they must be kind. This virtue, kindness, is not just to the young or old, rich or poor, but an unconditional kindness, just like the unconditional love that is poured out for all by the God who has the power to do so. Unconditional kindness requires humility. For you to extend an act of kindness requires an examination of self and acknowledgement of one's own weaknesses, shortcomings, and unworthiness. This helps us to appreciate God's process in our humanity. That this God of ours, of immense power and mercy, who would choose to grant effortlessly and tirelessly his continuous love and forgiveness. Thus, in giving, prudence must prevail and kindness not withheld. A kindness so freely given. Freely, freely you have received, freely, freely give, Matthew 10, 8 tells us. Kindness expresses humility, a free giving. The second reading from Romans 8 speaks of the humble recognition that God is our all in all. And if we need the Holy Spirit to pray, we need him for everything. In view of the virtues, the Holy Spirit helps us to exercise them too. God recognizes us as his children as we allow him to exercise virtue in us, in this case, kindness and humility. We can question why we should be kind or virtuous at all. Being made in the image of God, one can question why God would do anything at all for any human being let alone create the world, but this is his divine will, and that is all we know. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 to 43, God is patient that we may be saved. This makes Judgment Day more terrible because ample opportunity is being given to all, as in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The parable from the Gospel lets us know that God made all things good and there is evil and the devil that has come to corrupt the good work of God. God is God Almighty. He doesn't wait for an appointed time to bring judgment. He is the one who sets the time indeed. And our concept of justice is insufficient to express the one who is justice itself. God didn't have to send his son to save us. Send the Holy Spirit or his angels or his saints to help and guide us. He is God, but he does it precisely because he is God. 1 Corinthians 14.25 says that in the presence of the Holy Spirit, the secret of unbelievers is laid bare. That surely God already can separate the weed from the wheat, the good from the bad, even now. In all God does, God's power exhibited through creation and salvation. All he does, he does for us and he shows us in this his humility and kindness, his patience and basically his virtue and power. If we, on our part, 
can practice some virtues, whether it be kindness or humility, we as images of God practice the attributes of our Father in heaven. So in the midst of the weed that the enemy has cast in this world, by the practice of virtue, we remain good seed who will be harvested with the escort of angels and taken back to our Lord and God in heaven. So we as the harvest, we should have this disposition towards the Lord of the harvest in order that we may return to him. Let us practice our virtues in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Shalom.